so rehearsed. So, um, if you're like me, and I know I am, <laughs> that this cool thing called charcuterie boards are uh, just like, I don't want to say trendy because they're cool. Because sliced meats and cheese have been served for a while. Centuries. It's a few thousand years. Um, but, the, super cool, this battle that I've been having in trying to figure out what to do with scrap wood and all the cool things that I generate as side things um, are turning into this desire. Hi, Glenn from Workshop at the Gardens, and I journeyed all the way down to Duck Hill. Woo! That's Ben. Um, in this last year, <coughs> last year, I guess it was last year, holiday season. Yeah. Ben uh, turned out some incredible works of charcuterie boards, but also some epoxy things. So I'm not going to jump on this trend, but because um, I don't think it's a trend. I mean, the first time I saw epoxy in something was probably 15, 20 years ago. It was a little table out in Jackson Hole, and they had little rocks and a fish and a fishing anchor or something, and mm -hmm. it was clear and it was cool. But I don't think I really processed what the heck it was. So, anyways, uh, I want to learn how to do this. So Ben's going to teach me how to make charcuterie boards on one thing, but I also want to learn how to do epoxy. So, and <clears throat> epoxy, we're going to do another video, or I should probably do a couple that really get into epoxy. I think we've got an in the shop video coming up, so mm -hmm. that we're really going to dive into epoxy. It's just like voodoo, cool, magic stuff that you mix together in liquid and then 36 hours later it's hard and you can add color pigments to it and make cool things. Um, but including it in boards is one thing, right? Yes. So, um, it's basically liquid plastic that hardens. Yep. That's the simplest of it. So you need something to pour it into. There's all kinds of things. There are uh, pieces of wood that you wrap a tape on, like mm -hmm. a seam tape or something, and it doesn't stick. Works. Works. Um, there is this stuff. High density polyethylene, also known as HDPE. Yes, which is really cool, and you can buy sheets of this and make stuff out of it. But if you're going to get into this and make a whole bunch of things, um, you can get a form. And, really? that, and that's what this is all about here. So um, we're going to do an unboxing. Who knew? <laughs> <clears throat> it's not live, is it? No, it's not. Um, we're going to... I listened to so John, John down in Texas, um, who was in Hawaii, and then they thought about Oregon, and they thought about all these places, but they've ended up in Hawaii, in a really Texas. long story, yeah, Texas, Hawaii, then back to Texas, then Hawaii, then to Texas, ended up in Texas, we're going to put a link, to, a link to John's YouTube up there, mm -hmm. so go look at that, up there, um, he's got that. He has kind of just found his calling in making epoxy boards. And his boards are like really, really, really cool. And I think inspiration for me, I think, Ben, I'm not going to go there, but possibly. Yeah. John really helped me des uh, design and build a form for a table uh, that I've been working on. So, A very cool table yeah. that you'll see soon. I hope. Um, anyways. Thanks, John. John makes these wonderful forms that we're going to unbox, so let's get after it. Cut away. Unboxings are the best. Is it a legitimate unboxing? We didn't lose patience and open it first. <clears throat> Legitimately the first time this has been opened. Try not to leave any leaves floating around or my dog will eat them. <laughs> All right. You pull it out from there. Oh, look at that. I don't know, he's got like a little pop 
popcorn. <laughs> All right, first things first. Yes, it's heavy because it's this HD PE. PE. High density polyethylene. Oh, it's on both sides, so he's doing a great job of putting his logo in there, so you're gonna see this in, in videos. The guy with the knife, uh, he's the one that gets to make the call on how this happens. More popcorn, more popcorn. Mm. Well packaged, that's for sure. really doesn't take much. <laughs> we could just leave these around. All right. It is well packaged. What's that? Uh, high temp RTV. Silicone RTV gasket maker. What do you use that for? Seal your edges. So it doesn't leak out. Because when you're pouring epoxy, think of it like maple syrup. Heavy flow. It would depends on the epoxy. But thicker, so not like yeah. water. Or does it depend Some on the long the long here, the real casting resin, uh, is more watery to let all the air escape. Uh -huh. Get into all those nooks and crannies. But it is liquid when it goes in, so as we all know liquid, it will find the path of least resistance. And go there. Okay. The last one. All right. Mm. We might have to let Moose pick a few up. <laughs> or pop the bubble wrap. I'll go there. You oh, go there. I'll go there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So the concept of the form is that you, uh, Put some boards in there, which we don't have any. We'll just use, do we have fake boards? Real boards, little boards? I have some. Sure. Oak cutoffs. Oak cutoffs, you just made something with this. I did. You can put it in pieces of wood in here. We're just gonna put one. And pour your epoxies around there and it encases it in there. Or you could do something like that. Almost. Almost. Yeah. He is looking at John's stuff. <laughs> and in the near future, looking at ours. Um, <clears throat> can you pour that in there? We got more things here. Ooh, we do have more things. My best van of white. <clears throat> Most of the kids watching this won't even know who that is. <clears throat> who? <laughs> one that uh, Weird Al sang that song about. Sure. Who's the Weird Al? <laughs> <coughs> All right. In the cool little bag. Now, this board, John sells on Etsy, so we will put a link somewhere. I don't know if I can do direct links on the YouTube, um, but I'll definitely put it in the description. You can get this board on Etsy, on his Etsy page. Uh, one of these things, kind of tore it. We're joking about being able to say John's um, shop name because it's Hawaiian based and I'm not even gonna try. Complete with uh, Alan. I don't know if we'll fully assemble, but little blocks. What do you call those? Uh, wing nut? Sure. Sure. Wing nut things. All right. Little blocks to hold things down. Concept of this, which is very cool, uh, is when you pour and you put your piece of wood in there and you're pouring around it and filling in, since it is like water, um, it'll float. Mm -hmm. So, John has come up with this amazing idea.
All right, so we are gonna open this up because he's got this cool little setup of the rail on top. you have any idea how many jokes we could have here right now? <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't bite on a stays hard for 36 hours. <laughs> because after four, you need to seek medical attention. <laughs> so 36, you're pretty much dead. Well, okay. That's more way to go. Back to epoxy. So anyways. Oh, oh. oh hi. <laughs> um, so John has developed this wonderful method of using the little blocks to come in and uh, see now, now I can't even say it. Hold your wood down. <laughs> well, that problem every morning. Yes. like that this is what's super cool about it otherwise you have to come up with some way to hold a down contraption or take one of your clamps and put it in there but when you start pouring these you get this and Boom. that piece of wood just stays right in there uh, it comes with three of these cross pieces which gives you a lot of options of holding things down. Plenty of little plugs to work around and hold it down for different thicknesses. You can use it all different ways. That's really sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're not going to do is take this apart because what John sends the little... The RTV? Yep, that is a gasket seal, which hopefully you might be able to see in there is the little bit of red in here so you seal that before you even put it together which is different a lot of times you'll see if you're learning about epoxy they'll just take a silicone and put it all the way around in there same thing to get that this you just put it on there mm -hmm. now the genius thing about what john has done is when it's time to uh pop it out it comes out real easy it's already set the ends the ends <clears throat> yep. to their clip off Pull it out, tap. The Theoretic, the cool thing about HDPE is the epoxy does not stick to it. Um, so theoretically, with what you're making here, you pop one end off and you get a little wedge underneath and you should be able to lift your board right out um, without disassembling your whole mold. And then you can just re redo your gasket on the outside, put that end back on and rock and roll. And John has started making it so both ends are removable just in case so there it is uh, I'm gonna show this stuff over here jo Ooh. John also uses super clear super epoxy. clear liquid glass um, this is the deep pour up to two inches some people have pushed it past that John also has a video about a 16 gallon pour uh, which was successful in its own way. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. So, as you enter, this is just the unboxing showing this. Right. Um, we're probably going to use it a couple of times. We're going to do, I think I said, I think we're going to do an in the shop video about uh, doing epoxy. I'm pretty excited about doing this. On John's Etsy page, they're about 230 for a form like this. Um, so it's not... Is this the big one or the small one? This is the bigger one. Okay. So... It makes two sizes. Two sizes. This is the bigger one. Of course, I can't remember. 12 by 24? Does that look right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somewhere around there. Uh, and the whole world of epoxy. So if you have 
looked at buying something with epoxy in it and you're like, wow, that's really expensive. Yeah, it is. So the epoxy itself, the chemicals and everything, the resin, um, a three gallon set is approximately. This is about a hundred bucks a gallon. So that's about $300 and you're doing into it. So that's why when you see some of these charcuterie boards that have a lot, a lot of epoxy, some really cool wood, you're looking at just, I mean, there's a hundred dollars of materials just to make that, fifty, a hundred dollars to make that board. Plus, uh, the making the epoxy or sanding it, sanding the wood and treating it and doing all of the things that make it, there's a fair amount of time in there to craft. So this is not just pop it out of the mold and away you go. There's a fair amount of work that gets it so it's smooth and oiled and ready for you. Anyways, excited to have this in the shop. This is going to be cool. Uh, I can't wait to share some of the things that we make in here. We, meaning, I don't know if this is a It's going to live here in the Duck Hill, so I'll probably come here to pour. Yay! Um, and if you're lucky enough, I'll get something done by the next holiday season, and you might see it. You might see it underneath your tree. I want to watch the time lapse of Glenn getting bored sanding. <laughs> but he's not bored. <laughs> bored isn't bored. Like... You want to see me stay on Sandy for more than six minutes? Seconds. Seconds. <laughs> hey, look. Anyways, um, there you go. This is a really, really cool, cool thing to add to your shop to make your charcuterie boards. Again, John at... Do you want to try? No. Ahanui? Ahanui. That's what I'm going with. I'm going with that. Uh, it's either that or Awani, but that's the hotel in Yellows, or Yosemite. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, look in the description. There's going to be right to his Etsy page, so you can get one of these. There will be um, also a YouTube channel that John has, and we will put a link. Uh, we already did one up there, and we'll put one at the end to John's thing. And at some point, there will be a link to something cool that we make with this form. Mm-hmm. That's it. Glenn from Workshop at the Gardens, hanging out at... Duck Hill. Workshop at Duck Hill. Workshop. <laughs> Workshop. <laughs> 36 hours. <laughs> <laughs>